let's continue so i'll be meditating under my breath i mean like in this way out when the wicked way out people pressure gets too much hmm. if i need to be to go to the bathroom and cry hmm, i go to the bathroom and cry then wipe my tears and come out of the bathroom stronger with the power of god release the pain to god get god's strength it's an exchange give god your cry you will get comfort yes like seriously give god your cry god will give you comfort tell god all what you are going through god will give you strategy to handle it this is not the time to fight with god this is the time to survive with god whatever you are going through survive it the bible says the suffering of this present time is not worthy <laughs> to be compared to the to god's glory that will be revealed in you romans 8 18 so just survive this is a temporary situation this is not permanent yes think about looking at this year it's december already god saved me february lost my job well god told me to leave that job <laughs> then in march god brought me back with my parents august god told me to leave july 30 or yeah july 30th almost august god told me to leave then god brought me into this um housemates um place you know like looking at everything god has been saving me month after month after month you know like god is in control this is a temporary situation don't know this December God can be like let's move you know <laughs> God has a plan so God is not figuring it out God knows everything knows what will happen next year knows what will happen this month he knows everything and he's going to rescue us because we are his children because we love him so <laughs> just survive this is temporary situation this is not permanent our tomorrow will be far better than are today so just survive god's blessings are coming god is a promise keeper god does not lie he will bless us more also god said the more afflicted we are the more we will grow the stronger we will get exodus 1 verse 12 like these challenges are making us stronger god is developing us god is protecting us we are in a in god controlled environment yes <laughs> like this will not break us this will make us stronger god is in the wilderness with us god is in this place with us like i have gone through worse things than this and god saw me through god will see me through in this one same for you also the reward for passing god's challenges tests is getting into another test like seriously when you pass a test and you are receiving another one it means that the previous test is over so that's how you know that a test is over when you get another test so keep surviving with holy spirit with him we can make it we can get through what we are facing don't quit don't die don't commit suicide hmm. keep believing in god keep hoping keep having faith we can only live by faith and not by sight like when i hear myself saying god i want to die that's a sign that okay i need more more of god's word you know more of god's strength you know sometimes when you're tired and with all the stress happening all the craziness your house you know the my housemates are i mean just they behave so bad like they'll open the window overnight i mean and i'll i'll, be, I'll close the window to open it you know I mean, they're just wicked. Like the devil is living inside of them. Witches, wizards. <laughs> you know, and the landlord is just taking everything. Those, and it's even lying on top of it, you know. 
the oh the microwave issue the landlord was saying oh um it's something to say oh it's your housemate that is saying no it was oh it's part of the insurance no microwave in the room really you are even lying i mean seriously the devil is just using people around me so when you see that is happening it's because you are closer to your breakthrough like when all when all hell is breaking loose you are closer to your breakthrough so honestly keep living by faith not by sight you know i've been living by faith like since college during my bachelor during my masters living by faith workplaces i've been living by faith everything living by faith writing god's first book was by faith i did not have the money but god provided as i was going when the publisher said bring this money i gave her this money i mean living by faith do what god is placing on your heart and god will do the rest live by faith so honestly in this season we have to live by faith that's the only way we can get through this situation whatever we are going through because we know God is in control, we believe that our latter days will be greater than our former days. I mean, this verse encourages me. My latter days will be greater than my former days. No matter what I'm going through right now, my latter days will be greater than my former days. And when I hear that word, when I look at it on my bed, I mean, I have this paper on my bed. When I look at it, my, my spirit changes, like everything changes, like... It doesn't matter what is going on right now. My latter days will be greater than my former days. It doesn't matter what I'm going through. My latter days will be greater than my former days. Ah, that's a powerful verse right there. Take verses that encourages you. Take verses that make you fight, that make you have tenacity, that make you have God. You know what I mean? So keep believing. God wants us to believe in Him. God wants us to believe in Him. Believe he is powerful. Believe he is in charge. Believe he will keep his word. Believe he will never leave us nor forsake us. Keep believing. Remember God's testimonies. How he saved you in the past. How he healed you. If God can do that before, he can do it again. I know my God. When you know your God, it doesn't matter what is going on around you. Nothing will shake you when you know your God. Nothing will move you when you know your God. You're like, this house, let me tell you something. God placed me here. Because God placed me here, I'm going to be here. No matter what you do to me, I'm going to be here. No matter what you say to me, I'm going to be quiet. Because God told me to be quiet. So, hmm. It's very important. Believe God is in charge. Believe God will keep his word. You know, when we believe in God's blessings, we receive. Yes, Matthew 21, 22. Remember, better is coming, greater is coming. Because God does not lie. He has done it before. He will do it again. So don't give up. Don't quit. Keep believing. Glory to God. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah.